a lot of times when people see me and we get to spend like quality time have conversations together they always think that i'm more than 30 years like i mean it's funny but age is just a number what actually evaluates people's mentality is the experiences that they have had I was doing a lot of deep thinking and I said to myself, Cynthia, you are growing older. You, your age is not like reducing, it's increasing. I no longer used to be that girl. I remember in secondary school and all that university who used to be like, I'll just sit and I'll be bantering about boys and party. I, I am no longer that girl. I am slowly evolving into a woman. And I don't want to make a mistake of just saying, okay, let me be going with the flow. Whatever happens, we happen. And one day I just close my eyes and I open it and I'm 30 and I'm like, <gasps> How did we get here? <laughs> How did because it happened so fast? It's not like I'm saying 30 years is an old age. It's a very young age, in fact. But all I'm just trying to say is, what do I want to achieve before I hit that milestone? Those goals that I want to achieve before I'm 30 might be different, entirely different from yours. But it might align with yours and help you like set yours too. So here comes 30 things I want to do before I get to the age 30. Guys, I want to take my exercise very seriously. I am always so lazy when it comes to exercise. I am constantly making excuses for myself, which is not healthy at all. Every new year, it's always on my new year goal, my vision board. I'm always like, Cynthia, this is the year. This is the year for fitness. You have to be physically fit this year. And the time comes for me to actually put in the work and I'm like And I'm making this video to hold myself accountable and responsible To not take fitness as a joke Because fitness is so important It helps you physically, mentally, emotionally Let's go to the next one I wrote everything down The next thing that I want to achieve before I get to 30 is my reading goals Why is this on my list? Because I think that i i'm someone who loves to read a lot and these days because of our phones technology and everything it's even making me like not read like how i used to read before and reading is very very good when it comes to developing your intellect it just helps you sound it gives you this exposure sometimes when people speak you think that they have traveled to like hundreds of countries and all that and you don't know they have not even been to anywhere they just had this exposure to reading another thing i want to pay conscious effort to before i get to the age 30 is writing more my writing goals and yes 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 i love to write for anyone who knows me or who attended the same secondary school with me knows that cynthia loves to write <laughs> then i actually used to write stories love romance tragic and all that i used to love writing then i'll just write stories and i'll give to students and students will be reading disturbing me where is your book we need your book and all that, 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 that. do you understand so i want to bring that back I don't just want that to die off. Even as of right now, like I love writing a lot. Like even my goals, because I'm not really very good at storing a lot of things on my head. So if you see me, I have a lot of jotters. I have a lot of like not see the best thing anyone can do like if you want to give me a gift like you can give me something more you know you know but the things that i actually do really really appreciate more is when someone gives me a jotter like a very fine jotter i used to treasure it with everything so i'm gonna take it more serious i don't just want to write i want to also publish so this 2024 guys you guys should expect something i'm gonna be publishing a book on amazon kindle and you guys should just watch out for that okay so moving on i want to be more intentional with my goals i'm tired of just saying like i told you guys every year at the beginning of this video i was talking about my size routine and all that that every year i'm like okay i'm gonna take my size serious this year and i end up not doing it i don't want that anymore for myself i'm not getting younger i'm not just gonna be playing around and say oh i'll do this and keep on making the same mistake keep on being inconsistent keep on procrastinating no 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 that is not gonna happen anymore in jesus name amen when i write i don't just want to say okay I've... oh yes i have written down my goals i have planned my life no 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 no. when i write something down i want to follow the step-by-step -step process to actually actualize that dream that goal of mine i want to do that i want to pay conscious effort and be intentional about my goals 
starting from right now i've actually started when it comes to reading and other aspects but i want to take it more serious that's why i want to be intentional emphasis on intentional about my goals all right so the next thing my mental well-being guys my mental well-being is really really important because no matter what you do on earth if you're not mentally stable you cannot really achieve anything out of life i just want to take my mental health seriously in all ramifications when it comes to emotional well-being and all that in all ramifications like i just said and that's the reason why i always talk about mental health on all my platforms because mental health is really 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 important and it's in my goal i want to be more conscious with it when i'm making my decisions or when i'm socializing with some kind of people you know stuff like that so i just want to pay more attention to my mental well-being so and the next thing is going to be beauty of course beauty has to be on the list because i love to look beautiful no matter what i love to take my self-care really really serious because even if i'm going through life i need to look like life is going through me if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but beauty is really important i need to invest in my cosmetics like it makes me feel more like a woman and one thing about life is that people love to associate themselves with beautiful things so i always love to prioritize beauty because i love beautiful things of life and to get all those things you have to be beautiful and you have to maintain beauty okay the next thing is gonna be travel solo travel i have never been on one of those solo trips and i must it's not a must but i want to i really need to because i'm anticipating for it actually i want to travel alone like alone no partner no kids no grandmother no grandfather no mother no father nobody i just want to travel alone that's why it's called solo trip for a reason so yes i want to travel alone i want to experience life life is beautiful i want to know more about the culture of other people what's happening in brazil what's happening in morocco what's happening in france so what's happening in germany what's happening there like i just want to have a little exposure and that's something about traveling it actually gives you this exposure when you go out there you experience the world you see how people think you see the economy of other countries you compare it with yours or where you're coming from you kind of have a more diversified ideas of how the life is than when you're just groomed brought up in one city and one country you see that sort of travel Yes, I want to experience it before I'm 30 or even, or even when I'm 30, but before I'm 30. So the next thing is hydration. I'm drinking enough water. I want to add that to my goal. So early in the morning when I wake up, I want to incorporate drinking a glass of water every morning when I wake up from sleep. The next thing on my list is being more positive because there's a lot of, I don't even know how to explain this one. There's a lot of negativity going around us. A lot of negativity and if you don't if you're not careful you see yourself you start wallowing in that negativity so i want to be more positive even when negative things are going on around me or when someone is negative i just want to be able to see the positive in them or to see positivity in every conversation because imagine if everyone put this in their goal like be more positive even in conversations like the world would be a better place the more you're positive and you see positivity in fact, I don't know, it starts radiating towards you. So the next thing that I want to talk about is I want to learn a new language. Mm -hmm. Before I get to 30 or as I'm getting to 30, I want to learn a new language. And actually my preferred language is actually um, Spanish. I love Spanish a lot and you know, I love to, the way it sounds and everything. And I think I, I will actually learn it a bit, you know, lo siento mi amor, español. <laughs> That's actually the things that I know about that right for now, but I know that I'm, I'm going to be good at it. And the second preferred language is French. The main reason why I actually want to learn French is because it sounds so sweet and classy. Like French is just so classy. I didn't know why. I don't like, I can't even understand why I did not pay attention to the French classes I had when I was growing up because it was actually a mandatory course not course like subjects in primary schools and secondary school then but i was just taking it for granted and now you see i'm going to be paying a lot of money just to learn this but that's fine so these are the things that i want to learn a new language before i'm 30. so the next thing that i want to talk about the next thing that i want to incline into my goal before i'm 30 is becoming more emotionally mature these things that i'm writing down here are things that i will still be doing 
even after I am 30 years. But I want to pay a conscious effort to them right now. I want to start now. I cannot wait till I'm 30 years old. So I want to become more emotionally mature. By becoming more emotionally mature, I mean understanding my emotions. Understanding that every feeling has its own name. If you're feeling sad, you're not angry. If you're feeling angry, you're not sad. If you're feeling happy, excited, every emotion has its name. You just need some sort of level of emotions to be able to learn how to do and handle people, even in business. So I want to be more conscious effort to that um starting from now on and the next thing is i want to give okay this is actually interesting <laughs> so the next thing that i want to do before i am 30 is give life to a human being i want to have a baby yes i want to have a baby before i'm 30 if not all my babies like if i can just give it to all my babies it's so easy saying it but i want to give life to a human being before i'm 30 years old so be it in jesus name amen i'm gonna come back to this video and i'm i will say to myself since you said it so so, so they like that is gonna be so cute i can't wait to introduce you guys to her or him or them or they from my mouth to the ears of the living the almighty god so the next thing is i want to spoil myself with something extravagant like something materialistic i just want to spoil myself i want to buy myself there is this car i have been admiring guys before i'm 30 i'm gonna leave this car here so that i can come back to this video and i'll say to myself cynthia your tongue is powerful yes there's this car i've been admiring so much like i really want it so bad it's like a black boss or something like that i don't know i'm gonna leave the picture here i love this car and i want it so i want to spoil myself with that before i get to 30 years i want to buy a house but that car first i know house is more important but i just love that car so much okay okay okay, okay. i want to get more intentional about content creation when it comes to editing angles and all that i want to invest in gadgets and a lot of things like i am really doing this full time who would believe that i would do youtube full time i it's, it's, it's a surprise guys i don't even want to talk about my journey or anything but i never believed that okay cynthia will be doing youtube i used to think of myself as a nine to five kind of girl so with that being said i want to be more intentional about my content creation job because i have not seen it as a job it's my business right now so i have to be intentional about it i have to invest in gadgets i have to invest in learning how to edit editing softwares and all that so i need to learn a handwork mm -hmm. yes handworks are really really important either sewing clothes or learning makeup or something but me my preferred handwork is going to be painting i love painting even though i'm not really so good at it but i want to i painted something here it is so funny <laughs> it is so funny i'm going to i, I just panged it here for a reason because i always get to laugh about it i will show you guys i'll insert the clip here i painted something on a tree sunset whatever whatever it is so funny but I'm, i want to like pay conscious effort to that i want to learn how to paint and i want to learn how to make wigs yes yes i actually got all my materials already so i want to learn how to make wigs and i want to invest like be more intentional about my painting journey i want to learn how to paint so these two things are like the handworks that i want to pay conscious effort to before i am 30 and the next thing is my youtube channel Da -da -da. By the way, if you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome once again. I love you so much for joining us and I hope you enjoy your stay here. Make yourself comfortable. The OGs, what are you guys waiting for? Make these people comfortable. We have wine in the fridge. Bring them out. Bring them out and give to everybody. So my YouTube channel, I want to take my YouTube channel very seriously. Yes, yes, yes. When I'm talking about content creation, my YouTube is like one the ogak patak pata of them all like it's the main thing that i want to take serious so that isn't my goal and i'm actually doing it right now because i've always been procrastinating oh i'm gonna start youtube nasty i'm gonna be serious with youtube nasty but look at me right now i'm actually taking youtube serious and i'm being consistent guys i am showing up for you for you for you for you and i'm here to stay okay the next one that i want to take i want to pay conscious effort to is where is it my medical checkup 
guys full medical checkup i cannot emphasize too much on this because it is so important like maybe once in every six months i could go for a full medical checkups because they are very very important i know that we nigerians or even a lot of people will just say that oh i don't want to know even if something is wrong with me i don't want to know that is just the best way to accumulate more problems so what i'm going to be doing is every six months or one year i'm going to have a full medical checkups you know check myself up and check that i am healthy which is very very important and the last thing i want to talk about is my spiritual awareness mm -hmm. i want to gain more knowledge when it comes to understanding my body my mind and my soul spiritually and that's it for this video i don't even want to explain too much because it's just personal something personal for me so guys that's the end of this video and i hope that you go on if you're in your 20s just go and even if you're in your tattoos, these things are the things that you can still consciously add to your goals. I love you guys so much. If you've been here and you, you know, stay with me. Thank you so much for sticking around. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, make sure to book that like button. And do not forget to turn on your notifications. That way you can be aware of anything that is happening on this channel. I'll see you guys on my next video. Okay. Bye.